I've opened a new Stocks and Shares ISA account and this time it's on Free Trade. Free Trade, like any other platform for investing, has its advantages and disadvantages. So if you want to hear my honest opinion about Free Trade, then please keep watching this video and then at the end I will also share my profile there with you. I will tell you about which stocks and shares I bought and also what plans I have for the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anastasia. On this channel I talk about investing and especially investing for beginners. Now from the very beginning I have to tell you that I've been trying to open a new Stocks and Shares ISA for a long time and originally I wanted to open it on Trading212 which is another investing platform but since several months they stopped uh, accepting new applications and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting until recently when I thought okay well enough is enough and beforehand I heard heard about free trade but I never really looked at it close enough so this time I actually looked at it played around with it opened my ice account there and now I have enough information to share with you. Please keep in mind that this Stocks and Shares ISA is opened under my husband's name but you know who's in charge and I keep my own Stocks and Shares ISA on Vanguard so the funds that I invest there and my profile there it's still all relevant. I opened another Stocks and Shares ISA under my husband's name just because I want him to have his ISA allowance of £20,000 per financial year as well. So when I heard about free trade, it was a long time ago, I didn't really consider it and the reason to that was the fact that it's pink and I really don't like pink. And another reason was that there was no other reason. I just don't like pink. No, of course, I'm only joking. The real reason is that I didn't see much of a difference between Trading212 and Free Trade, but Free Trade charges £3 per month for opening your stocks and shares ISA there, while Trading212 was free. But I will tell you a little bit more about the difference between Trading212 and Free Trade later in this video. By the way, at the moment, if you register on Free Trade through the link that I will attach in the description below this video, you will get a free share with up to £200, which is definitely worth doing. You have to register through that link and you also have to make your first deposit. So there are only two conditions and you will get your free share. And if you do it until the 31st of May, you will also enter the competition to win one share of Tesla, which at the moment is worth $550 to $600. In my opinion, it's definitely worth doing, especially if you were considering registering on free trade anyway. And by the way, to get this free share, you don't have to have an account like an ISA account where you have to pay for holding your account there. You can also open just a free account and not pay any money at all. So let me just quickly talk you through the basics of free trade. <laughs> Well, Free Trade at the moment offers several accounts. One of them is called Basic and this one is free. The second one is Stocks and Shares ISA and you pay three pounds per month to hold it there. If you don't know what Stocks and Shares ISA is, you can watch this video here. But basically it is an account where you buy shares of different companies and you don't pay any capital gains on £20,000 per financial year, which is the main benefit of holding stocks and shares ISA on the first place. The third type of account is called Free Trade Plus and it costs £9.99 per month. And the fourth type of the account is pension account where you save money towards your pension. There were two types of accounts that were interesting for me from the very beginning. They were the basic account and stocks and shares ISA. The basic account is obviously interesting because it is completely free so you don't pay any money to hold your account there and again if you register on free trade and you have the free account, you still get the free share, which I think is amazing. And the second account, the Stocks and Shares ISA, costs three pounds per month, but you get this ISA allowance of 20,000 pounds per financial year. I'm filming this video in 2021 in the UK because the rules might change and also for other countries it might not work. The plus account that costs nearly 10 pounds per month also sounds quite interesting because it has its own advantages. The main advantages are the 3% interest rate that you get on all cash that you hold in that account and also you have a bigger choice of stocks. Well in my situation 
situation I didn't need this account because first of all I don't see much point in holding your cash in an investment account if you want to hold cash you probably hold it in your bank but obviously in the bank you don't get anywhere near 3% interest rate so if you are for example scared of investing a lot of money into stocks and shares because you don't want to take a risk then probably it makes sense to invest a larger sum straight away earning the percent three percent interest rate and then little by little little parts of this cash that you hold there into stocks and shares well it's up to you that's not my case because i don't like cash i don't like holding cash i don't hold any cash isa i've been talking about it in my other videos i don't see the point because i think cash is going to devaluate massively in the nearest future as for the bigger choice of different stocks and shares again for my strategy and for my choice of stocks uh, a normal stocks and shares isa is enough because usually the bigger choice when I say that uh, through with the plus account you have a bigger choice usually they are penny stocks so they are new small companies not so popular companies that have recently gone public and I am not going to invest into these companies on free trade my strategy is going to buy only blue chip companies like Apple Amazon you know the big and the most famous companies all of them are available on free accounts and normal stocks and shares accounts so in the conclusion I would like to say that unless you are going to frequently trade or you're going to invest into penny stocks or you hold enough cash in your account to cover the fee of nearly 10 pounds per month then in my opinion the plus account doesn't make any sense and for the pension account I'm not even going to cover it in this video because again I've been talking about it in my previous videos I don't believe in pension at all from other important things that you have to know before you decide to invest into free trade you have to know that they are FCA regulated it has a lot of customers around 700,000 they are the member of the London Stock Exchange and all free trade accounts are covered by the financial services compensation scheme Now let's talk about the advantages of free trade. Well, all the main information about this company is given on their website. And just listen to how simple and how friendly it sounds. Absolutely everybody can understand. It's just normal, simple language, which I really like. If you don't like what's available, you start to wonder whether you should build it yourself. All the information that I read on the website made me feel like I am the part of the team, which I really liked. Another advantage of free trade is their transparency. And here I would like to tell you more about Trading to Wantu. Because on Trading to Wantu, I also have an account. Uh, it's just a normal account, it's not an ISA account. I registered there just before they closed the applications for the new customers. And I always had this wonder of why and how Trading to Wantu makes money. They didn't have any fees included at all, but you obviously understand that somehow they must make money. So when it comes to free trade, it is very easy and very understandable. They are very uh, they're very transparent about it. The next advantage of free trade, or it is an advantage for me anyway, is the fact that they don't allow you to trade any CFDs. You cannot open leveraged positions and you cannot open short positions. Why they don't include CFDs, what's the reasoning behind it, I am not sure. But obviously free trade targets beginner investors because of its simplicity and because of how easy it is to open an account and use it. So I think it is very fair that they don't allow inexperienced investors to trade CFDs because CFDs is something where more than 50% of investors lose money. If you don't know what a CFD is, you can watch this video here. I made it several months ago, which explains you in details what a CFD position is. But basically what you have to know is that CFD is like a bet and CFD is a very, very highly risky investment tool. Well, here you go. I've just saved you at least 10 minutes of watching that video and if you didn't want to watch it you don't have time if you appreciate this fact then please click the like button to this video and also consider subscribing to my channel so that you don't miss my future videos that I'm going to record other platforms make a lot of money through offering people trading CFDs so in my opinion the fact that free trade doesn't allow people to trade CFDs means that they are cutting on their own profits but at the same time they are protecting their users because they understand the majority of them will be the beginner investors.
Now let's talk about fees. With free trade, there are no withdrawal fees, which is a great advantage. There are no deposit fees, but this is the case for the majority of the platforms. The bad news is that there is a fee of 0.45% every time you buy or sell stock in a different currency. So for example, if your account is in British pounds and you want to buy stock in dollars, in American dollars, for example, you want to buy uh, one share of Apple, then you have to pay 0.45% percent when you buy it and you have to pay 0.45 percent when you sell it so on each and every stock in American dollars you will lose at least 0.9 percent of the price of when you buy it and when you sell it so keep that in mind and by the way this fee has to be paid by all customers it doesn't matter which type of account you hold on top of that there is obviously a fee for holding your account and you cannot really avoid this fee uh, as I said, for stocks and shares ISA it costs £3 per month, for other accounts it is nearly £10 per month, but there is also an option to have a completely free account, so if you don't want to pay anything and you are not bothered about having 20k uh, financial year of free capital gains allowance, then you just have to open just a normal free account and don't pay anything for it. Now let's talk about the disadvantages of free trade. Well, the first and the main disadvantage for me is the fact that it is accessible only through the app. So you have to use your phone to see your account. And if you've been following my channel, you remember that whenever I talk about Vanguard, I tell you that their disadvantage is the fact that they don't have an app. But at least I can open and access my profile on Vanguard on my phone through the browser. It is not as convenient as having an app, but it is still possible, whilst with free trade, I cannot open uh, my profile on laptop at all. And of course it is not such a big deal if, for example, you like to work on your computer and you don't like to use your phone, then keep this thing in mind. The next disadvantage, and I can say that it is a disadvantage for me, but it again might be an advantage for someone else, is the complete minimalism. They don't give you much information about the stocks and when you open your account there are only two paragraphs maximum that you can read about the company that you are going to invest in. Again, it is great for beginners, but for someone who is more into investing and who wants to look into details of stocks and shares that they are buying, who wants to know more information about the company, they have to google it separately on their browser, on their phone or on their computer, so it's just, it's just not that convenient. The next disadvantage is that free trade allows you to buy and sell shares only during the trading hours. So for example, I'm filming this video on Saturday and if I want to buy S&P 500 through free trade, it will tell me that the market is closed. Order will be placed from 10 a.m. 24th of May. But again, for my strategy for buying just blue chip companies, it is not a big deal. And the other disadvantage that I just find very confusing is the fact that when you buy shares, you can buy as many shares as you want and you have to put the amount of money that you want to invest into this company. So in my case, look at my screen, you see this sign of pounds. So I can invest a certain amount of money and the system will automatically calculate how many shares I can buy for these pounds. Whilst if I want to sell a share, it is completely different. Then I cannot choose pounds, the amount of pounds. I have to choose the number of shares that I want to sell. So if I have 10 shares, of Amazon, for example, and I want to release $3,000, I have to calculate myself how many shares I have to sell in order to get $3,000 worth of shares. It's just confusing and I don't understand why they did it. On the Toro or Trading212, for example, you have both options. So you can tell the platform how many pounds you want to invest or how many shares you want to buy. Both options are possible. Here it is not the case. And the last disadvantage is obviously the color. Why choose pink? Really don't like pink. Strange. So let's look at my portfolio so far. It is nothing really too exciting here. I have only two shares, two and a half shares of 
Coca-Cola and generally for the future plans my plan for these stocks and shares ISA is to buy individual stocks and shares that I'm going to hold long term so they are going to be blue chip companies like Facebook like Amazon like uh, Coca-Cola like Johnson Johnson and so on I want to have individual stocks and shares in my ISA that's why I had to open a different ISA outside of Vanguard as Vanguard is great but it offers you only investing into funds they don't have an option of buying individual stocks and shares insights if we go to insights it gives me this pie chart where it just tells me what type and what sector I invest my money in so obviously I hold well nearly 100% of my money in stocks no money in cash no money in commodities and nothing in bonds it's not much here as I say it's so minimalistic there's absolutely nothing you can do about it you cannot click on anything it's not clickable discover tab is good this is where you find the the companies that you want to invest in they are not only individual stocks and shares they also are funds like on Vanguard for example right so you don't really have to diversify and invest into funds through Vanguard and then individual stocks and shares on free trade you can do both on this platform uh, you can track your activity so you can see how many how much money you put in how much money you invested I assume because I haven't tried taking any money out and I'm not going to for like several years at least but obviously you will see this activity here as well if you sell your shares I'm not going to use this account for trading at all this account for me is only for investing and then the last tab is just my account where I see how much money I've got left um, unsettled cash reserved cash and so on and also my ISA allowance remaining 19.9 thousand pounds for this financial year that's it not much information at all let me just show you as well when you open an individual page of some stock for example if you are interested in Tesla all the information that you see here is the price the chart okay you see one day seven days one year and maximum um, you can buy it you cannot sell it you see the this option to sell it is not active because uh, short positions are not allowed then next information are some very basic stats and about and look in about section as I said you have literally one paragraph here and you see that the Tesla company is the part of tech energy and cars sector absolutely nothing then some costs and charges where you will see how much money you will have to pay I'm going to use this financial year a lot of my allowance uh, my ISA allowance my stocks and shares ISA allowance so that's why this fee three pound per month is not such a big deal for me that's it guys I think I will have to make another update on my profile on free trade in several months see how it developed see how much more money I invested into it and the profits that I made maybe I will have to change my mind on certain things but I thought I should record this video with my first impression on the platform and on the app and my opinion for now I hope it will not change because generally speaking I have a very positive opinion about free trade at the moment thank you very much for watching this video that's it from my side today bye bye can I take this horrible pink jumper off now?